it up connecting with uh, Keith Richards and what is it like being in that rare company to play guitar with him? It's extraordinary. And uh, I met Keith when I was in London with Linda. He came to a show we did and we bonded right away. We, we dug each other right away. And uh, So when he would come to LA, I'd see him here and there and we'd hang out, you know, hang out always whenever we could and just get together and make noise sit around talking, play a little. And then I got a phone call one day from some British lawyer saying, uh, hello, Waddy, uh, I'm near, well, I don't know what his name was, near such and such, and uh, I'm an attorney for Keith Richards, and uh, he's looking for you. I said, oh, he's looking for me. I said, well, you found me. Why don't you give, give him my number? And he was great. He was, oh, very funny. Um, listen. Would you, uh, <laughs> he's at Larrabee Studio. Do you know where that is? I went, yeah, of course I do. He goes, would you give him a call? He wants to talk to you. I said, oh, okay. Call up Larrabee. Keith Richards, please. Can I... Waddy, how are you, man? I said, I'm good. What are you doing? How are you? He says, I'm great. He just says, listen, I'm putting a band together and you're in it. I went, what? He goes, yeah, you're the other guitar player. Okay. I said, yeah, okay. <laughs> Fine with me, man. Fine with me. He says, come on, what are you doing? Come up here. And he was, him and Steve were there. Steve Jordan and he were there. They were uh, working on the rock and roll, um, what do you call it? The Hail, Hail rock and roll movie. The Chuck Berry film. Yeah, right. yeah. So I went there, I met Taylor Hackford and Helen. And the three of us said, we're a band now. I said, that's fantastic. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. That's great. He goes, there's no audition for you. You know, that's it. You're the one. And I said, great. And then, uh, that was it. That's how I got there. Amazing. Any any remembrances of the Talk is Cheap uh, album sessions or any key, key yeah. memories that you, you can share? Sure. Plenty. You know, uh, yeah. one, one of the memories is I brought my, that same Les Paul I was talking about that I unpacked it with John Sebastian. It's, it's an incredible 1960 sunburst, beautiful instrument that over the years had been broken several times, dropped and fallen and the neck had just been replaced on it, not replaced, but patched. And I brought it with me to Canada. We went to Montreal to do the Talk is Cheap record. And I unpacked it. And as I unpacked it, when I ran my hand up the back of the neck, I could feel the wood was coming apart. I went, oh my God, no, you gotta be kidding me. Oh no, my own my guitar is not working. I can't use my guitar. I had my Stratocaster with me also, but that's my main guy, that that Les Paul. And I was in shock. So I went, oh look, um, my guitar is fucked, man. I can't use it. And uh, he goes, oh hey, you, you, I've got another one here. Use this one. And it was one of these. They called it a Les Paul, but it was this bizarre looking kind of black skinny thing with one cutaway and weird instrument and i'm i'm nervous enough about being there and how i wish that song which is on the album was the first thing we did and like i said i would go for solos live i always go so i'm there playing a guitar i'm not familiar with a song i don't even know <laughs> and and we get to the solo spot and i'm just going for it you know that's it and uh, that was the take. And then after that, the same night, we did the, the single, Take It So Hard. And that was take one, Steve Jordan playing bass, Charlie playing drums, Ivan incredible on the keys, Keith and I on the guitars. And, and the song structure was, the melodic thing that was going on was so different than how it wound up being that, and it it was amazing. The track was amazing. I mean, we were all like, "What? <laughs> That's it?" And I live solo again, and and it was so wild because the next day, the engineer said Keith wants to do that song again. He wants to give it another shot, and we were like, "Going what? Oh, okay, I'm going okay." And some of us got a little miffed by it. I went, "Hey, look, if Keith Richards wants to do something again, we're doing it." Okay. And they went, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So we went in to do it again. Couldn't do it. <laughs> it was. It just did not work. 
And I, I looked at Steve. I said, what are you doing? He goes, I don't know. I don't know. I just can't make it happen now on the base. It's not, it's not working. And we were looking at each, well, looking at each other like, well, what? So I said, all right, that's it. The other one's the take. So take one, take it so hard. Amazing. That's a great album. I'm a big fan of, uh, of that you. one. It sure is.